Welcome back to Skyway TG guys and today we're going to be talking about Dune which is a remake of the 1984 movie and it's also an adaptation of a sci-fi novel. Um, I'm going to give you my, my uh, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on this movie and I'm expecting to get a lot of flack because I don't think I understand what I watched. I don't know if I would have enjoyed it more if I read the book or saw the original. I don't know. Maybe I'm just... I, this movie just wasn't for me, but I, I don't know, guys. I don't, I don't know how I feel. So Dune is a sci-fi movie where there's a house. There's like a house of royalty, and they go to this new planet because they're going to be in charge of collecting spice, which is like this super special shit that's in the sand. And they use it to like travel around the galaxy and shit for human travel or some shit. It's super valuable. And Timothy Chalamet's family, you know... They go there, they're replacing another house that was there, but there's a coup against them because the Emperor wants this house to be eliminated because they're a threat to his power. And the whole time, Timothy Chalamet has like special powers. He can like convince people to do things with his voice. He keeps having visions of Zendaya. And it's just, it's just a lot. So the good. The good in this movie is that the music is amazing. I believe Hans Zimmer, Hans Zimmer did the score. The music's great. The visuals are amazing. Like, it's a very, very well done. The CGI is good. And all of the actors in this, you can tell they're giving 100%. Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Rebecca Ferguson, Ozra Isaac. Oh, it was Jason Momoa. Everyone's doing their best in this movie. And there's no fault to that. They did a great job. This movie is very visually stunning. You're going to enjoy the music. You're going to enjoy seeing the sandworms. It's visually very beautiful. That's, like, about it. Like... The bad in this movie is that I feel like a lot was thrown at you at once. Like, you had to fully understand the story super quick. Or maybe I'm just dense and didn't understand it. But it just feels like a lot is thrown at you at once. And that a lot of things don't make sense. Um, and I feel like, honestly, it was just a two and a half hour trailer for the next movie. Because it ends on a very bleak ending. It's pretty bad ending it's just like they're walking off into the next movie pretty much and i was just expecting more for you know like a final battle or something but no it just kind of ends because they're preparing for a sequel it already got confirmed today i think they posted it on twitter um so there's that i don't think i think that's my main gripe uh, like the trailers made this seem to be way better than what it was and I know, like, a lot of people like this movie. It has a very high score on, like, like Rotten Tomatoes and shit. But, like, I just, I don't think I liked it. And I don't understand why. Like, I would normally love sci-fi shit like this. But, like, it's just, it didn't hit me. So maybe I just either didn't understand it or maybe I'm just wrong. But I don't know. I, I didn't like it. Well, guys, that was my review of Dune 2021, I guess I'm calling it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please don't like, subscribe for more. I make videos whenever I can. Uh, I'm trying to be more consistent, but it's very hard. Uh, I'll be back soon with more videos. There's a lot of movies coming out this weekend that I want to see. Antlers, Last Night in Soho. Might watch The French Dispatch because Wes Anderson makes good movies. So yeah, there's a lot of good stuff coming. Uh, I hope you guys join me on that. I will see you in the next video. Stay safe out there. Get your vaccine if you can. Please, for the love of God. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.